Yo, 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 Muddy Waters Podcast. It's your boy Shaq Sims, and I'm here right now with a special guest, man. This interview is kind of special to me, man, because this nigga is like family, dog. Like, he is, matter of fact, ain't no life family, he is family. You know what I'm saying? We, we definitely go way back, and I know this nigga since a jit jit. Like, I know he looked young, but I'm talking about since like a jit 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 jit. Well, you know, I'm proud of his progression, man, and how far he's come as an artist and just as a, as a person in general. You know what I mean? But without further ado, I want to introduce Baby J, 1512 Baby J. Man, being scribe, fuck one, man. You know what? Fuck one, man. We don't a whole lot of money, and if you ain't having no more, she can get the fuck on. She can't on, man. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Definitely, man. Gainesville's finest. Matter of fact, Georgia's finest, man. I'm going to say it, man, because this nigga talented as fuck, like, for sure. Put you down, man. Look, 2020, 2021, BN taking off. What's BN? That's Bandit Nation, right? Yeah, that's Bandit Nation. For y'all that don't know, 15 to it. Like I said, Scribe. Then you say Scribe, man. I don't even load up them blitz on. Oh, God. I don't know what none of that shit meant. You good. But it sounded like some rapper shit. They, for sure. You know what it meant. You know, you know. <laughs> facts, facts. Now, take the people back, bro. Where are you from originally? Are you from Gainesville originally? Bro, okay. I was originally born, the hospital I was born in was Eastside Medical. Where is that? Okay. Uh, north side, on the north side. Okay. Um, but I grew up in Atlanta. Went, moved from Atlanta and went to Gainesville. Okay. But I wasn't just in Atlanta, I was in Tomville. You know, if you know about Tomville, if you know about Atlanta, you know about Tomville. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. And ha- did you always want to be a rapper? Uh, Were you always mu- yeah. musically inclined? Nah. Yeah, nah, I used to dance and shit. That is right. I used to play sport. <coughs> I used to play. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> I used to wrestle and shit. Play football, ran track, man got locked up. When I got locked up, got down, just stopped playing sports. Really, when I got in high school, this shit just turned. I just, I stopped playing, I stopped wrestling, and I was doing track a little bit. I played football, but I wasn't really there, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Then I caught my K 10th grade, and I just stopped playing sport. I, I, I thought I was going to be a wrestler or something. Like shit, WWE bro. wrestler? Yeah, nah, nigga. I'm talking about, I'm talking about college wrestling. Type. My boy's gonna be WWE. Yeah, nah. My boy's gonna be WWE. Yeah, nah. You wanted to be John Cena, man? Yeah, nah, bro. I'm talking my boy's gonna be WWE. Nah, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about real deal wrestling. Yes, bro. I'm sir. Real wrestling. What that shit called? I think it's like, I don't forgot the name of that shit, but that shit been long ago. Like MMA? Nah, I used to do that too. You did MMA? Yeah, yeah. I could definitely see you as a wrestler, yeah, you man. Have one of these niggas, man. Yeah, I could definitely see shit. you he as a wrestler. I could definitely see you on WWE, man. I know WWE. Yes, man. sir. I'm talking about what is it? I think it's like NCAA. Yeah, you talking about on the college collegiate level, though. Yeah, you wanted to wrestle on the college yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm still doing it. When I got on, uh, you feel when they rock, shit get to where it's supposed to be, bro. I'm going to uh, do all the shit I want to do. You feel me? Yeah, when they rock, shit get to where it's supposed to be, bro. I'm going to do all the shit I want to do, you feel me? I'm going to pay money, nigga. I'm just going to wrestle these fuck niggas, put some of these niggas on their neck, show these niggas. Y'all ain't talking about shit. Got to go play football at some college, too. Just a couple of days. I ain't no goddamn game shit. I ain't for the playing the game. Yeah. Just a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got down like a goddamn count type shit. For sure. Go over there and blitz them niggas, yeah. Type shit. They want to do a lot of shit, though. And I want to shoot some movies. I'm gonna shoot some movies. I'm gonna shoot some movies, bro. Like be like be in the movie or like actually I'm, shoot it I'm, yourself. I'm talking about shoot shoot movies in the hood. I'm finna make a TV show, nigga. I'm finna make a TV show. I for being tuned for this. I'm finna make a TV show, man. What's that TV show gonna be about? Yeah. Reality. It's gonna be reality TV show. Real shit. No script. Ain't gonna be no script. None of that shit. Being nigga had getting some money in the studio rapping, having fun. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real life shit. So when you Real when you when you, when you when you caught your first case back in the day and that made you stop, you know, wanting to play sports and shit like that. Like, where was your head at? Cause you were you, you were like what, fourteen, 
When you got your first case, 15? Yeah, 14. And what was that case? If you want to talk about it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that shit behind you yeah, or not. Uh, yeah, that yeah, it's behind me. I done beat that shit. Uh, on robbery, aggravated assault, and kidnapping. I ain't kidnapped nobody, man. You know, that just, that just the way the law system set up. You got, um, For sure. do start, if you do something, they going to say that. You feel me? Like, if you hold somebody at gunpoint. And tell them to go to the yeah, other side of the room me? that's yeah, kidnapped. That, yeah, you feel me? Type Moving shit. somebody yeah. unlawfully without their will, that's without kidnapped. their uh, permission. Yeah. You feel me, but you know, that, that shit behind me, I done beat that shit, you know what I'm saying, but, um, <laughs> what, the hell, what the hell you just said? Yeah, like when you, um, what was your first case for? Oh, yeah, uh, but hell yeah, that would have won. Okay, and when you caught that, like, being that young, bro, like, what was going through your through your head, bro, being that young, catching a, a serious case like that, and did you understand <laughs> the severity of that <laughs> shit? Yeah, nah, nah, keep it a bit with you, I ain't, I ain't even, bro, like, and it just, it happened, but it was so crazy, bro. Cause nigga was turned up, like I was turned up before this shit happened. Like every time I get bound up, I be turned up, like nigga be turned up, like I'm talking about for like that whole month, leading to when I get locked up every trip, I be straight turned up. I'm talking about partying, turned up. I'm talking about but shows, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Nigga turned up though, Gainesville where it's at, bro. I'm telling you, man, go out there and turn your ass up for real. Got down, uh, you feel me? Got down, uh, that shit. Yeah. Now, when you, when you, when you actually started taking the rap serious, at what age did you do it, and like, what made you start taking the rap shit serious? Cause like you said, bro, that wasn't always your thing. You had a lot of other stuff going on in your life. Uh, when I got how long? That's why you young niggas should not smoke, man. You niggas do not know how to roll man, blunt. That shit perfect, bro. These young niggas. You, 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 that was going on. No, that stuff, motherfucker though. ain't roll right, man. That motherfucker ain't roll right, man. These young, see, that's what that's what's wrong with you young niggas. Back in my day, our blunts didn't didn't uh, bust open. Cause y'all niggas, y'all like rolling head. cigars and shit. Y'all rolling swishes. Thanks, a little small ass. Skimp ass swishers, no point in point twos in their blunt. I'm saying, what's the point in putting all that <laughs> weed in the blunt though? Like, does it get you higher when you put yeah, you more know, weed you know, in the blunt? Like, I'd be higher longer, you feel me? Like, just, I can really, like, right now I'm, for, I'm geeking. I'm geek. I'm high as hell. I can put that blunt out and save it, you feel me? But if I would have skimped that hard, I wouldn't have been high at all, you feel me? Type shit. Like, if you skimp a blunt, you're not going to get high. That's the whole point of a gram. Like, if you get it. If you get anything, it ain't like if you was to go to a dispensary, they ain't finna get no point three. Cause the, the you can buy a point three for sure from the dispensary. A point three or what? Or some good shit. If you go to the dispensary, you can buy whatever you want, right? You gonna get a point three? I think you can. Man, who the fuck finna say you a point three? That niggas might like, say you a point up, three. Bro, grams and up. Bro. That niggas might say you a point like, three, no, man. man. You're not supposed to smoke no point nine. You know, I ain't just smoke your gram, you gonna be straight. Then you gonna have to, you ain't gonna have to roll up again. You feel me? Cause you know that that gram that you just smoked, I had you scrape for the rest of the day, probably. Not the rest of the day, but half of the day. Let's go get you what get you the way you need to go. I'm telling you. But you smoke that got down point five. You finna have to roll up another point five and another point five to be with that where that ground would have just had you. Uh, you feel me? You would have been thugging with that ground. Majority of the day, but you trying to roll out these point fives and shit. And what if a nigga? Money. What if a nigga only got enough money to smoke a point five at a time, bro? Yeah, some niggas, you know, nigga, some smoking. You can't support your habit. Why the fuck are you doing? Why that? nigga? Why, why nigga? Why, <laughs> why nigga can't roll a point? But he can't support his habit. He's supporting his habit by smoking a point five, mm -hmm. nigga. That's how he support it. Get your you ass rap niggas on, kill man. me with this weed talk, man. Man, nigga got to get your ass on that point five shit. Man, I did, you rap it. niggas kill me with that real. A nigga told me. You know what a nigga told me? And we're going to get back to the conversation we were having. But you know what a nigga told me? He, the nigga it? said, if you smoke bubble, you an old nigga. I, my thing is this. You niggas was smoking kush last year. What's wrong with smoking kush now? Now you saying you can't smoke a point five. What's wrong with that? I smoke bubble, nigga. Platinum, all that shit. If it's smoking, it's smoking. <laughs> you feel me? But now you saying niggas can't smoke point five. Nah, nah. You can smoke your point five. Just keep that shit over there. 
I don't want to hit your blunt. You feel me? Keep your shit over there. You can smoke your point five, uh, bro. Just keep it over there. I'm bro. saying, man, what's wrong with a point five, man? Yeah, bro, that skimp ass blunt, bro. Like, what the hell are you doing, man? You might as well just put a gram in that bitch so it can be straight. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to skimp the blunt and shit. I guess, man. So, you know, as time as time progressed, you say you started taking the rap serious once you uh, caught your case. Like, what was it about that situation that made you take rap serious? Because you could have went uh, in a couple so, of different so directions. Really, what really happened, you feel me? When I caught my case, nigga, nigga was writing. You feel me? I started writing the shit. Nigga ain't got shit to do. Nigga was writing, working out. You feel me? Boom. Fucked around and would start hearing my shit for nigga. You feel me? Nigga start hearing my shit when I was locked up. Got um, nigga singing my shit. But niggas was beefing though, you feel me? And all these niggas singing my shit, you feel me? But, and jumped just like down for real. For like nigga, these nigga hitting my shit together and these niggas just beefing, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But they out here singing my shit together, you feel me? At mm -hmm. one, you feel me? They like, that shit was just like down. That shit hard, and then I got I just promised a whole bunch of my young nigga that still locked up, like my little brother who locked up for murder. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, you gonna like, you gonna see me there, bro. Like, I'm gonna be there one day. As soon as you get out, you gonna be right there with me. You feel me? Like, cause that what he do. He a, he a singer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, you. Hello. Hello. We ain't editing this out either. <laughs> yeah. <what's up? laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, tell that. Go to the back of the hood, bro. All right. But your your little brother that's locked up for murder. Um, I saw you post him. Mm -hmm. You were. It, it was kind of like a like a like a like s sort of a conscious song. Like you were really like talking about like his situation, like where he came from. Don't judge his book by his cover. Like yeah, and, and I'm gonna make a movie about that shit. I'm gonna make a movie about his story too. Yeah. I'm gonna make a movie behind his story, you feel me? When I come up, I'm gonna make a movie about this. What was the situation though? Like was is he innocent of the charges? Well, I can't say too much, man. God damn, baby, you know what I'm saying? We you know we we you can talk <coughs> to me, man. I ain't the I ain't I ain't the police, man. You can tell me. But they're gonna be on YouTube. That's a fact. Say less. So <laughs> <laughs> so when you locked up and niggas is singing your music and shit like that, that that kind of gave you the inkling like, okay, I got some shit for real. Yeah, yeah. And then I got out and I and I and I hit that shit, posted that shit on the ground, and that when I linked that was Slade. Uh, yeah, Slade the monster. Mm -hmm. So he caught on early. Yeah. Did he catch on while you were locked up? Mm -mm. Okay. As soon as I got out, though. Okay. And what and what do you think that connection came from? Just internet networking and yeah, shit. Yeah, social media, motherfucker. That's what. Oh wow, God, is, bro. social media, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, man, it's a motherfucker for sure. Now, when you link with Slade, like, you know, y'all did the song Karate. Did y'all work on any other songs together? Yeah. What was it like working with him? Was that like a was that like a good a good um a working partnership? Yeah, yeah. Cause with any with any artist come with any, I'll say, successful, um, uh, uh, any six. Uh, I I do got a little contact in that weed, man. That shit blowing all in my face. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> but I'm gonna edit that you, part. Man. <laughs> I told you, bro. But um, for any artist to be consistently successful. In their music they need a dope ass producer like would you say like that's one of the best producers that you work with thus far in the game no nah, i wouldn't say he the best but i'd say he the biggest okay he was the biggest i work with but not the best yeah who was the best you say i can't put them niggas in our competition but why are they losing you can't it, it's not really a competition bro you're just saying who you work better with like who you who you mesh better with Wide and loose. Okay. And they, those are Gainesville producers, or they from other other places? They're from they're from Austin, Texas. Okay. But JCR too. JCR, he from Gainesville. Yeah. Yeah, we back. Yeah, we back, man. Both of our phones went off at the same damn time. But um, 
you know, as you starting to build momentum and shit like that, not only are people like in your city and your 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 school um, area and your immediate circle and shit like that, like people all over the country starting to fuck with you, like at a fast, rapid rate. Mm -hmm. What did that feel like, bro? To start getting some success from some shit that I wouldn't say. You know, you had just started doing, but you hadn't been doing it relatively long. Like, how did that feel? It felt good, real good. I right, make a nigga feel six, seven. Make a nigga feel like he's doing something right. Mm-hmm. It made. Did it make you feel like you had been doing the wrong thing all this time, like wrestling and trying to dance nah, and stuff? Or yeah. you feel like that prepared you for where you yeah, came nah, with the rap? Nigga, I just, nigga, I just thought nigga, that that wrestling and dancing shit. That shit was just. That shit was just a hobby, nigga. You tripping. That was just something a nigga did. You feel me? Mm hmm Like, nigga ain't, nigga ain't thought. Like, nigga just living life. And that just come and come. Yeah. And then I found rap and I stuck to it. You feel me? All this shit just a part of art. Like, I used to draw, too. I still do draw. All this shit a part of art. I like art. You feel me? Mm hmm All that, like, not even that. Now, I like being a spotlight. You feel me? And all that shit. All that shit that I, that I said I do and that I did. For spotlight. Was, man, I was the spotlight of everything. Like everything I did, I was the spotlight of. You feel me? Wrestling, I was the spotlight. I you like the, the best wrestling because I was, did. The, I was the, not yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. And because nigga, all eyes on you when you wrestling. You feel me? Track that shit one by one. All eyes on you when you tra when you run the track. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like nigga, like being the spotlight. You feel me? Like I'm gonna shine. I like to shine. You feel me? Like. So it's safe to say you would have been on WWE, nigga. Nah, That's spotlight no, like a motherfucker. No, the fuck a WWE, That's nigga. spotlight, bro. College is spotlight, nigga. Nigga, that, WWE that spotlight, nah, spotlight nah, nigga. Look at The Rock, shit. John Cena, man. Fuck that shit. Look at The Rock, man. I Them ain't going on no WWE. I can I definitely see you on WWE with a big ass belt. <laughs> 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 I can definitely see you, bro. Most definitely, the most gangster motherfucking uh, wrestler they had. What you What you think my name is about the wrestler? Um, it'd be like baby, uh, baby J, <laughs> baby J the Hawk, baby J the Hawk, or some shit like that. Oh, <laughs> baby J the problem, <laughs> for sure. Now, when you first started to get some, some success from like the music, what would you say like was the thing that got you that success, or was it just everything surrounding you, like your case, you getting locked up, you know what I'm saying, you being around the city making noise, <laughs> everybody knowing you and shit like that? Like, what would you say? Every everything, you up? everything fell in play. Everything it fell where it was supposed to fall. It, everything happened that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Even everything I did, I did it for a reason. I don't regret none of it. I respect everything I did, and I owned up to it. Facts. Now, when it comes to, like, you know, artistry, like, you look at artists like Tay-K, just different artists, bro, and they get they get locked up, and that make their fan base grow, or just them being trouble artists, like, mm -hmm. staying in jail, you know, being in and out of jail, catching cases, being on probation, can't be on social media because of their court case. Like, do you feel like your troubles and you – being in jail and going to jail and catching cases helped you as an artist? Nah, it hurt me. It got on. Um, that shit fucked me up. Yeah, that shit fucked me up. Bad. So you don't feel like. Nah, that don't. Nah, I get locked up for the bird. But that shit for the bird. <laughs> man, that shit for the bird. Yo, had trippy side. But, that bro, that fuck. shit really. Bro, look at, look at, look at Tay K. That Fuck nigga man. went platinum behind the wall. And I'm not saying no nigga should go to jail. I'm just saying some people will argue that artists going to jail and catching cases and them getting in trouble helps their situation as far as, like, them building fan bases. Because the fans like to see shit like that. I, like, you, okay, look, I ain't going to hate on it if you do what you do, but you a dumbass if you do that shit. Like... No, that's that, a fact. Like, I, I, I agree. I don't think no nigga should go to, go to jail on purpose. Saying, getting, like, nah, nah, fuck that, man. If you going to jail on purpose, you ain't no real ass nigga. But you, you, you acting. Yo, yo, something wrong with you. Yeah, that's it. Your head down somewhere. That's a fact. Man. His mama don't know what he doing. <laughs> For sure, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. But you know, 
we had a conversation earlier and you said like bro every time i was turned and lit like i always get locked up right after shit you know what i'm saying like yeah. i always get locked up around that time and i can never really capitalize on the shit bro mm -hmm. like so you know this time around now that things are going the way that you well things aren't going the way that you want them to but you know exactly what you have to do to get them to go the way you want them to like what are you going to do differently this go around because you only get so many chances bro i'm already know for sure you stab and crack away Word. <laughs> as you motherfucking should as you I motherfucking you should don't crack away man thanks who's some artists that you that you like are musically influenced by the baby um shit that's about it but i can't listen to no man, too many folk music bro like you start to get influenced by it Unconscious. Nah, I ain't getting influenced by the baby. Like I told you, I, I got influenced by that shit when I got locked up. And I just, nigga just had to write. Nigga just started writing. What I mean by influence is like, sometimes you, like, because as a writer, you get writers okay, a lot. Okay, or you, you be, saying, or you, you saying like, like when, I see, when I see him doing something. Or you hear him or rap or a certain type him, of way. Yeah, you feel me? Do it make me go harder? That what you're saying? What I mean, influence musically, like. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's say you hear Lil Baby song we paid with 42 Dub, mm -hmm. right? You might like that song, but you might tell the producer, like, I want a beat like that. Oh, no. Nah, well, that's nah, what I mean nah. by influence. Like, nah, nah. subconsciously, bro, like, you might not want to bite him, but you just listen to his music so much, it influenced you. Like, you know what I mean? Because as human beings, bro, we creatures of habit. Like, so we might fuck around and see somebody do some nah, shit, and we'll subconsciously do it. With you. If I sit here and let you hear all my music, none of my music sound the same. Cause I just, nigga, just, like, you feel me? Like I said, my two producers, then I got, I got hella producers. I got hella niggas who make beats for me, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I just, they niggas just send me beats. I rap on them motherfuckers, you feel me? Like, yeah. it ain't no, I don't ask a nigga make me these type of beats. None of that, you feel me? Niggas just send me no shit. I go rap it on the whole. I don't use, like, two YouTube beats before. And that was a nudie type beat. And what? I don't know what the other one was. I think the other one was, was, was one of another nigga on the feature. He yeah. used to be. I don't even know what that was. And I still came on that bitch like Baby J. Facts. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Now, <clears throat> with this quarantine and everything going on, bro, like, how has it affected you? Because, I mean, you an artist, bro. You know, mm -hmm. artists get booked for shows. Niggas get feature money, all type of shit. Like, how has it affected you? Has it slowed down slowed down your money? Did you have any bookings in the works that you weren't able to fulfill because of this shit? Uh, nah, but it fucked up my studio time. Yeah, yeah, it fucked up my studio time. I mean, yeah, a couple show. Uh, a couple, yeah, a couple show. My god brother, no. Nigga going to a script club. I ain't going, but. By Corona out, and I was told in the Corona out, you tripping, I ain't going. You feel me? Like, you tripping. So if a nigga want to book you, for, if a nigga want to book you for double what your rate is, are you going? Are you going to perform at the strip club? I mean, nigga, Corona. It feel. I feel like Corona disappeared. Keep it a break, nah, Corona disappeared because we talking nigga, about money. You see nigga, what I'm saying? Nigga, listen, you see nigga. what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see how a nigga changed? Hey, look, look, Quick, look, look, I just, nah, you look, just look, said look, Corona look, out. Nah, listen, hear me out. I feel like listen, this is too. Out, hear me out, because you said during this period, you feel me? Okay, like, okay, nah, okay, okay, okay. But now, nah, nigga, what the hell? That shit ain't up. That shit ain't up. It's some niggas catching Corona, That's though. Florida. My partner caught oh, Corona. Judge. My partner like? just caught Corona. My partner just, I mean, he didn't. Me and this nigga don't, me and this nigga ain't seen each other in months, man. He's tripping, man. He in Indiana, bro. And yeah, Indiana got it too. Florida got it too. Georgia ain't got it. Gainesville Georgia got definitely it. got it. Gainesville got that shit. I need to fucking move away from <laughs> your ass. You moving over there. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, now, for real, a whole lot of cases out there, motherfucker. Nah, it is, bro. In South Carolina, they just had a thousand cases. I think it was Friday in one day, bro. But that shit crazy, cause none of my folk caught that shit. Like, Mine either, bro. Like, 
I just one you nigga, said. one nigga <laughs> out of state. But I, bro, you know, in the last time I seen this nigga, I ain't seen Man. this nigga in like two years. Word, I ain't seen this nigga in like. I'm I'm lying, and it's been a year since I seen this man in person, dog. A year, bro. I need And he mysteriously good. got motherfucking coronavirus. That shit crazy. That shit crazy as hell, man. You gotta take that now. So what? So what you got uh, coming next, bro? What you got coming next? An uh, album. What's the album called? Really, I got a whole bunch of shit. The album coming on my birthday. You feel me? Come my birthday at one five, August fifteenth, and my hood at one five. Okay. I'll be dropping out on my album. My album gonna be called Liability. Looking forward to it, bro. And, and why the name Liability? Do you feel like you've been a liability for a long time? And you're just nah. not coming to grips with that? Yeah. And I'm what made and what made you come to that realization? I can't say too much. I can't say too much. But but look, you go ahead in the album, you just gotta listen, man. Okay. You just gotta listen and you go ahead. For sure. I'm looking forward to seeing what you got coming next, man. I just wanna say I'm proud of your progression, dog. Appreciate that shit. For sure, man. Seeing you grow up, man. Now you uh a mini grown man, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Thanks, man. <laughs> Tell the people where they can find you at, bro. Hey, tell me. Hey, look, look, you can find me at uh, 1512 underscore Baby J on Instagram, Baby J on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, and B A B Y J A Y. You gonna see me. I don't know what you want me. I got B A two F's right here. Family Fur, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Family Fur. Fit me. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Follow him. Go follow me, bitch. Stream his music, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> hey, lie. Hey, look, I'm gonna follow you back if you lit. If you let me go, follow you back. That nigga lying, man. He ain't gonna follow you. I'm gonna follow your ass back. Man, he's not gonna follow you back. I sure love. <laughs> Muddy Waters, we out. <laughs>